Domi, my first question is for you. When it comes to turning red, it feels like a very personal story. I think, um, especially for me as a Chinese American, there are a lot of moments that felt like familiar and maybe too familiar. <laughs> um, I want to know when it comes to writing this story and creating this story, what kind of journey did you go on, and did you pull from any of your own personal life experiences? Yeah, yeah,、uh, I definitely did. I mean, I was May when I was thirteen. Like I. Uh, was going through these big changes and these mood swings and fighting with my mom like almost every day and not understanding why、uh, and and you know making this movie is kind of my attempt to kind of go back in time and kind of figure out like what was going on with me but also what was going on with my mom at the same time and try to understand our relationship and try to understand her a lot better、um, yeah and then I think it was also important for us to explore this. Like specific story of an immigrant kid, of an Asian kid, and her relationship with her mom because it's different. It's different than a than a lot of like Western stories where, you know, the kid is like rebellious from the beginning and 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 wants to do this thing and wants to be independent and, and hates their parent and, and 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 the parent is like an obstacle, like a militant kind of. A、uh, wall that 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 wh- whose mind needs to be changed in order for the kid to break free and stuff. But you know, like like for us, like for for me, like I loved you know my mom. I I, I like with May in the movie, like、uh, she is super close with her mom in the beginning. They 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 spend so much time together, like、uh, cl- cleaning the temple together. They're like each other's best friends. So there's this、uh, this. This like sadness when 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 May is like growing into a different person and kind of leaving behind her her family a little bit like she doesn't want to but she kind of is almost forced to because of life and the way growing up works so I kind of want to explore that、mm-hmm. that that nuance and that、uh, struggle of a of an Asian kid. Amazing. Well, I thought it was really accurate and it felt very <laughs> real and I really、yeah. I like that it's not like. Mom versus daughter, you know,、yeah. like they have that like really strong bond, like you said. But also, this, you know, obviously, like she, the mom, like Ming, has her own generational, you know, trauma from her mom that she,、mm-hmm. you know, passed on to her daughter. I like that moment when she's like, "Where does she get that from?" And her husband's <laughs> like, "Your mom's on the phone." And she's like, "Oh my god, I'm not here." <laughs> yes, yeah, that, that. Every, that got a lot of laughs from a lot of people、yeah. on the crew. They're like, "Yes, it's too real." <laughs> <laughs> and、uh, Lindsay, so my question for you,、uh, for having worked on, you know, as a producer for a lot of Pixar projects, I want to know what project that you worked on presented the biggest challenge and helped you grow as, you know, as a producer. Well, I think, I mean, it's it's a little it's a little convenient to say this one, but I, honestly, it did. I, I think, you know, in the same way that I at John Carter I produced, which was a live action, with first time producing that. Um, was super challenging because it had me re it had me rethinking the way I do things and questioning and having to kind of、um, change my change my my native language so to speak、um, and I think、uh, for this one it was you know working with Domi was so different I mean she comes、um, at things very differently than than other directors I've worked with she's、um, she challenge she has good questions and challenges things and. Um, and it was great because it made me kind of have to sit back and, and question. I'm like, do I just do that because I've always done that, or is there a good reason behind、um, what I'm what I'm suggesting? And then obviously the pandemic came, and you know I think Pixar's over the years and has gotten really good at making movies. Not that the creative has gotten stale or that we're good at like figuring the stories out, but the making of them we've gotten really good at it. Right? Everybody's so talented and they're really you know capable. And, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh. No, everybody go home. We have no idea what we're doing, and it really made me feel like it was back in like a Bugs Life days, where nobody knew what they were doing. Like, and we were all kind of like, I don't know. Like, I guess we have to figure it out. And I, while it was super challenging, it was so rewarding to watch a crew, and it and it really does gel a crew together when they're trying collectively to figure out how to how to how to overcome something、um, that is as challenging, obviously, as working from home was.、Um, So I, while it was really hard, it was also so rewarding, and this crew really bonded. And you know, the fact that we were telling a story about the messiness of life, and meanwhile, we are literally seeing everybody's mess in their lives behind them, live and in color every day, 
it kind of made everybody's defenses go down and brought a lot of their failures and mistakes and, you know, moments. This is who I am. Like, this is it. <laughs> See my failures right here in front of you. Um, I don't know. I think there was something really special about it too. That's an amazing story. And I, I really, I mean, the final product definitely shows like how much hard work you guys put into it and how much, you know, it really developed. And I, I think that one of the funny, I mean, one of the funniest things about this is that it's so unapologetically in love with Toronto, which I thought was like so <laughs> enjoyable. <laughs> uh, Domi, can you talk about why you chose Toronto as a setting? And, you know, is it just because you have this love for Toronto or is it, you know, was there another purpose behind it? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I grew up in Toronto. I love Toronto. Uh, I feel like Toronto isn't really ever seen in movies or if it is, it's always pretending to be New York or like a, some fancy American city. Uh, and uh, I just love the diversity of Toronto too. And I thought it, it, it was really exciting for me to, to put that on the, on the big screen and kind of share with, with audiences the, the neighborhoods that I grew up in, the friend groups that I had, the school that I went to and like what my classmates all like looked and felt like. And uh, it was just like, I was just really, really excited just to, to, to put it on the big screen. Also, there's like, I don't know, like Americans find a quirkiness to Canadian things. So when I pitched the movie, I was like, it's set in Toronto. And they're like, oh, how, how quirky, how strange, <laughs> Canada. My favorite, my favorite discovery of this whole thing about Canada was that the grading system is different. Like oh, yeah. underneath May's bed, <laughs> <laughs> when she's going through all this stuff and you see some papers on the side, if you watch it carefully, there's some papers on the side that obviously show she is no longer an A student, right? And it said something, originally it had like 75% and it said B. And American, I was like, hold up. I got some 75% in my time. <laughs> that is you not call, a B. You that call is, that as a note. <laughs> I was like, that is a C. So clearly <laughs> there is clearly something. And then all the Canadians are like, no, uh, -uh. and no, I was like, no, a, no, 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 that's a, that's a B in Canada. And I was like, are you mean to tell me that yeah. I could have been a straight A student if I was in Canada? Yeah. Yeah. I was an A student. I had eighties. What? Eighties throughout. Oh my God. Yeah. Mind blowing. <laughs> Mind mean, blowing. <laughs> so any no. kids out there who are like, my grades aren't really good. Just be like, you know what? In Canada, I'd be a straight A student. Yeah. Come to Canada. <laughs> come to Canada. Get your report card. Uh, that's amazing. I cannot believe this. I'm also <laughs> feeling a little robbed right now. <laughs> I feel punished and robbed, yeah. frankly. I felt dumber knowing that like I was, <laughs> a, like, Wait, I was an C? American C and B student <laughs> yeah. this whole time. Yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for talking to me about this movie. I can't wait for everybody to go see it. I just, I watched it twice. Absolutely in love with it. Like I said, uh, thank you so much for speaking with me and talking with Collider. Uh, have a nice day. Yeah, thank you. you Bye. Thanks.